Hi, how's it going? Charles Boatson from Boatson Properties International. This is the rapid fire. This is the Q&A about any questions that you have. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, charles at boatson.com. Go to YouTube, go to Facebook, leave the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them. Uh, we have a slew of questions that um, they are wide ranging to say the least. So the first one is multiple contracts out. Um, that's something that I do not recommend. And if you do have m multiple contracts out, in other words, a seller has sent out two contracts, one to one buyer and one to the other buyer. And then, you know, as long as you disclose it to everyone, that's fine. There's nothing illegal about it. There's nothing. It's only really just unethical. You know, it really comes down to you. And as an as a agent, I feel very uncomfortable unless we make it clear that you send out two contracts, whichever one comes back first, we will countersign and that's who we're going to be going with. Uh, adding an elevator into a townhouse, uh, good luck. Uh, yeah, you're gonna need a, a lot of work and that's gonna be expensive, but you know what? Once you have an elevator in a townhouse, you can go multifamily, you can sell it for a lot more because that's very rare. Why aren't these units selling? Probably because of the price. Rarely is it the marketing unless it's for sale by owner um, or you just use the cheesy brokerage, but most people have the, have the most brokerage, most brokerages have access to the exact same resources. So it really comes down to the broker. And that's actually why I started BPI is I went to all my clients. I just said, did you use me because of me or did you use me because I was at Halstead? And they all said, we used you because of you. And that's what gave me the confidence to actually go out and start my company is that I, no one was like, oh yeah, no, we used you because you're at Halstead. Listen, Halstead's a good company, but ultimately it's the same thing with a resume. I send you a resume, but you, the person, has to get you the job interview or a dating profile, you know, to get the second date. Yeah, your profile, dating profile looks good, but you're the one that has to get the second date. It's the same thing with selling the home. Yeah, that's great that you work at a big firm, say, Elliman, Brown Harris Stevens, you know, Corcoran, whatever, or Halstead. But ultimately, within those companies, you have brokers that are amazing, you have brokers that aren't that good. So it's really not the company at all. It really comes down to the agent. Someone that can influence, someone that can actually grab out offers from people, people, uh, brokers that are closers. And in a good way, you know, no, actually influencing correctly. Uh, next question. Uh, Trump brand name, you know, a lot of people have asked me about this. Uh, I'm not gonna go into it, that's purely discretionary. Uh, a lot of people are, you know, Trump owns a bunch of buildings on Riverside Boulevard and they're, you know, talking about, does it hurt the actual unit resale value? You know, that's all arbitrary, so I'm not gonna get into politics on that. Paper thin walls and trashy neighbors. Um, Okay, well, I'm sort of going through this, so what you need to do first is talk to them. And uh, you, you talk to them, then you talk to them again, and you talk to them for the third time. Um, I have a family that's really loud on my floor and I can hear them arguing. <laughs> it's really annoying. And it's always at 10 p.m. or later. So I finally went to management company, and then they, you know, you have to go to the management company after that, or if you live in a condo or call-up board, you have to go to them because otherwise it, it may just get a little slippery. Uh, two brokers showed the same apartment, both won a fee. So this is a uh, rental question. So essentially, it two brokers said there's a, so essentially she saw it uh, with broker A and then broker B came back and I guess she didn't go forward with it with broker A. Broker B sent it to her or whatever and she noticed it was the same. You always go with the broker you want. You know, I'm not gonna technically go into every question, but you go with the broker all the time. You know, I, I numerous circumstances where a, a buyer has gone with me because they trust me. And and you know what? Like, I don't I don't have any qualms about it. You know, I know a lot of buyers that that they they feel obligated because they started to work with someone. And I said, you want to go with someone? This is the most expensive purchase in your life. You want to go with someone you trust, you know that you, you, you have a connection with. And that's ironically the reason why a lot of the sellers choose their agents. They say, I just had a connection. And that's really what it is. If you're not jiving with them because you're buying the most expensive piece of anything you're ever going to have, property, stock, anything in your life, you're not going to buy jewelry that's worth 1.1. And if you are, fantastic, but your home is probably worth 10 million or 15, 20, 30 million. So you need to trust them, like them, because you're going to be disclosing a lot of information, your financial records, uh, you know, about something that's going on with your 
you know, your marital status or whatever, you know, you're going through a divorce and you have to sell something or you're, uh, you're having a baby or someone just died and you're, it's an estate sale. So you're going to have intimate conversations and you're going to want to trust that person. So going back to the question before about uh, why units aren't selling, it's, it's likely the price, but it's also, you have to be able to understand and trust that that broker is going to get it done, whether it's on the buy side, the sell side, or renting a place. So two brokers show you the same apartment; they both want to be. Granted, you know, rental brokers are rental brokers, but it, well, yeah, obviously they want to be because you know that's how they get paid. You go with who you want, who you trust, who you feel put in the work and the effort and deserves the the compensation, or as I call it, a success fee. So those are the questions. There's other ones uh, because I, I just turned two here at BPI and there's there's two questions. Would I do it all over again? Of course. And the, uh, the other question was essentially, um, why did I go out on my own? You know, I, I pretty much had that backstory and everything else, but why I went out on my own? I just felt that there's, I, I just didn't want to go to a manager to ask for approval or go to the manager and have to fight on behalf of myself or, you know, it was just, I, I'm just happier. <laughs> I'm happier. I'm better off. I make the decisions. If there's, I don't have to ask anyone. It doesn't have to go through a chain of command, whether it's marketing or compensation or time on the market or a deal that's, you know, I've been through so many. I'm obviously not going to disclose it based on, you know, client privacy, but absolutely, I would 100% start it over again and I'm way happier now here than at Halstead. Halstead's a great company, but very, very happy. So if you have any questions, go to Facebook, go to YouTube, wherever you're watching this, type in the questions, subscribe to that, like us on Facebook, go to Instagram. We're all over the place. Social media is our jiving. If you have any other questions, email me or leave in those. Email is charles at boatinston.com. Have an awesome day. And as always, we are never too busy for any of your referrals. Have an awesome day.